Welcome! This Swell Pro tutorial video presents some precautions that you should take when you fly drones, and specifically the Splash Drone 3 Plus. For your safety and the safety of others, prepare for your flight by being aware of local laws and regulations. Check the condition of your drone carefully and read the operating manual thoroughly. You can also refer to our online instructional videos for more information. When installing a gimbal or payload release mechanism, ensure that the quick release screw is tight. And take care to align the waterproof plug before inserting the plug and tightening the retaining ring. When installing the micro SD card into the camera, check the orientation on the rubber plug before carefully inserting the card. The waterproof plug must be pressed firmly into place until it is flush with the camera body. Check that your propellers are in good condition. They should be smooth and free from damage. When installing propellers, check that the propeller type matches the hub. Support the aircraft arm with one hand as you install each propeller to avoid damaging the landing gear. Check the lock alignment marks of each propeller and that the propeller doesn't turn on the motor. Before powering on the remote controller, ensure that the six switches are in the up position. If the switches are not in the up position, the remote controller will sound an alarm tone. After the remote controller has powered up successfully, you may want to switch the camera to the preview position if you're not ready to record video. Before turning on the drone, turn on the remote controller. Likewise, when powering off, switch the camera to preview to finalize any recording, then turn off the aircraft, and then the remote controller. After connecting the power cable of the aircraft, always tuck the power cable behind the battery to prevent interference with the accuracy of the GPS. Each time the flight location is changed by more than 100 kilometers or the aircraft is subjected to large vibrations, the accelerometer or gyroscope and compass need to be recalibrated. See our separate video for details on how to properly calibrate your aircraft. When restarting the aircraft, Always leave the power disconnected for at least three seconds. Before installing the GPS hatch cover, make sure that the seal is clean. The GPS cover must always be installed with the alignment arrow facing the front of the drone. Tighten the mounting screws firmly. Check the waterproof membrane on the GPS cover. If it has been damaged, replace it or the drone will not be waterproof. Before flight, always check the battery voltage and number of GPS satellites. Make sure your battery has enough power and can return home accurately. A full battery will display at least 16.8 volts before takeoff. A minimum of 10 satellites is required for GPS flight mode and the return home function. When using the return home function, it may be necessary to take over control of the aircraft in some situations. For example, when the aircraft returns and the return altitude is lower than an obstacle or the ground is uneven when landing. Switch back to normal flight control and the aircraft will stop landing and you can take manual control. If the aircraft is returning home automatically due to loss of the control signal, but the return home switch is still in the normal position, Flick the return home switch between return home and normal to regain manual control of the drone and cancel the automatic return home. With at least 10 GPS satellites of coverage, switching from ATTI or Smart Cruise will make the aircraft come to a rapid stop and hover. When flying with Smooth Plus controls, GPS mode is recommended. In an emergency, switch the Smooth Plus switches to normal to make the aircraft hover. The Splash Drone 3 Plus can fly in winds up to 16 knots with gusts up to 27 knots. However, the wind speed at altitude is often much higher than on ground level. If the wind exceeds the aircraft's ratings, the return home feature may be affected. Throughout every flight, 
it's important to monitor the drone battery voltage, as flight time can vary based on flying conditions. When the battery voltage reaches the first warning level of 14.6 volts, a warning will appear on the controller screen. Return the drone as soon as possible. When the battery voltage reaches the second level warning of 14.4 volts, the drone LEDs will fast flash yellow and the screen icon will flash. Prepare to land the drone as soon as possible. At a battery voltage of 14.2 volts, the aircraft will automatically perform an in-place landing to prevent an accident. Continuing to fly the drone between 14.2 volts may result in a crash or permanent damage to the battery. After flights in coastal environments or on water, it's important to carefully rinse the aircraft with fresh water as soon as possible. This prevents salt and grit from drying in the drone's moving parts and causing damage. All lithium batteries must be monitored during charging. Do not leave charging batteries unattended and do not charge warm batteries. To extend the life of your lithium batteries, always store them in a cool place and do not store them fully charged. It's best to partially discharge the batteries before storing them for extended periods. The 2S battery of the remote controller should be stored at a voltage of 7.4 to 7.6 volts. The 4S battery of the aircraft should be stored at a voltage of 14.8 to 15.2 volts. Thanks for watching.